so it has a USB that has to be for charging micro USB to USB it has a power and a channel button this one is the antenna Okay, so let's power it on. Long press. Voila, we have some image. We have some blue text up there. The battery is around halfway charged. It's on B2. I'm pressing this one. B3, B5, 6, 7, 1, 2. Okay, long press it. Now it's scanning automatically. Let's see. Yes, I stopped it. Short press. Now it went to F, R, L, A, and A7. So that's for the letters, that's for the numbers. If I long press it, it should turn off. Now let's plug in a drone also. Okay, so the drone is plugged in and it should be transmitting some video. I just stop the video recording. Now let's power it on. Hold the top button and voila! So I know exactly that this one is transmitting on A7 and I set A7 to there. It's not touch screen. Okay, and as you can see, it's transmitting video. And this one is picking it up. I'm exactly in front of the drone. Okay, so that's this. Tiny little monitor, wearable FPV goggles on 5.8 GHz. It's even showing the amps, 3.7 volts. So you see everything that you would see in your goggles. And if I unplug the battery, that one stops. Okay, and this can be held down and it should stop. Nice little monitor. And here's the Trans QX7S, and of course, I want to place this one here and it's a perfect match we have a speaker there but we can place some adhesive there or velcro and it can be used here it's not too tall so the antenna is at a higher level so it's not going to disturb anything don't cut it just pull it pull that shaft down and that's it I have this speaker, so I want to add some double-sided adhesive to this side and that side to avoid the speaker. The buttons have to be on the right side. Now remove the top layer. And by the way, you can still access the USB on the left side. Yes, and here's a problem, these legs are sticking out, so I might need to cut them, and you can chop it up with this one also. Now it's in one line almost. It's still working. Don't push it all the way down because the power button can be less access than this one. I might put it a bit higher so it should be in the center with that one or a little bit more so that you can access the power button better and voila the angles are not too bad from below it's a bit worse from above it's better the antenna is more outside buttons are accessible and let's test the charging also it 
has LED there on the bottom. And it's working even when it's plugged in. So from below it turns the image turns to negative almost. From above it's somewhat better. At 90 degrees is perfect. From below it's negative. <laughs> So now it's on A2, A3, A4, nothing is moving down here, A7, okay, B7, no LEDs are turning on on the bottom, let's unplug it, and back to A7, if you hold it down, it's automatically searching, and it stopped at F1. By the way, since the antenna is here on the left side, you cannot open it up because of that switch. So currently it's charging, I can remove that one, but I cannot open the antenna. So here I have the goggles, it's recording, maybe you can see something. And I will compare the reception of this one to the reception of this one. Let's see, can I find this way? Right. Oops, I crashed. It's too bright. 